is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome back to um, Sketch Sunday that Moira and I are doing. So we are revisiting Christie's 30 Days of Sketches, and the, um, the sketches are randomly chosen from all four series. So um, we have only done the ones for December, but we would love to see which ones you guys would like us to try and tackle um, for January or February or whenever. Um, so definitely leave a comment down below. You can just um, look at Christy's Instagram or her series and you can just tell us series two, day five or whatever. Um, so we would love, love to do that. Um, and I will have a link to Christy's channel as well as Moira's channel in the description box below so that you can check that out. So this sketch um, kind of threw me for a loop. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, and the more I looked at it, the more I was like, you know what? This needs to be a pocket page. And I don't do a ton of pocket pages because I find them to be more work than a 12 by 12 page. But I have so many photos from our trip to Mexico when we took the kids that uh, I got to get a lot of them in there. So I did print a ton of them small. I think these are like two by two sizes. Um, and my plan is to use my secret not secret kit um, for the month of November for it, which has Truly Grateful and again and again. So the background paper you'll see is Truly Grateful. And um, I think I only use this one piece of pattern paper. Actually, that's all I use. Um, so my idea is I know in the sketch there's like primarily two strips. And in this pocket page, because I'm doing a... Um, eight and a half by 11 um, album for this trip. I, I know there's three rows. So I'm trying to kind of have them read more as two rows. So um, my pictures are kind of extending up, that type of thing. Um, is at least where my brain is going. I hope that makes sense. So the first thing I did was just kind of measure what one piece would be for the pocket. And then I used that as a template to cut the rest of them down. And then um, I'm going to kind of decide which side I want to use front and back. And then I am going to attach my photos. So these photos are kind of crazy. I know they're really small and a little bit hard to see. Um, but we went on a tour of some cenotes. And cenotes are like freshwater sinkholes in Mexico. I'm sure they have them other places, but I've only seen them in Mexico. So we went to this one and it had, I believe it is a 70 foot drop um, or jump. Um, and so there's this big tower and it starts like five foot jump and then, you know, 10, 20, and I'm pretty sure it goes up to 70. It's something crazy. Maybe it's only 50. I'm not sure, but you'll see in my journaling that that spot is left blank because I couldn't remember. So I have to ask Christopher, but it's mostly journaled. So that's a plus. <laughs> but so we get there and my son just climbs all the way up to the top and just jumps right off like it's no big deal. So a little heart attack for your mom. Um, so they did not actually let you bring cameras. So they had a photographer there um, that took some pictures. So I'm okay with the pictures. It's It wouldn't have been the pictures that I would have taken. I would have liked to see like the whole tower and him jumping, but it's more close-ups. Um, so hopefully it's enough to jog our memories forever because you couldn't see it. And then, so Lucas jumped, and then this other guy from England went up there, and he stood up there for the whole 30 minutes we were there. 
And he just kept looking. I'm sure he totally psyched himself out. Um, and so Christopher just walks up there, looks over, and jumps off. <laughs> so the guy's like, oh, well, now I guess I have to. Um, and he eventually did. But because the people that were taking the pictures didn't have any idea that Christopher was going to just jump off like that, um, I have zero pictures of him. So that was kind of a bummer. So now that I have my pictures kind of where I want them, um, I'm looking at some embellishing. And this is the part that I find kind of hard with pocket pages. So I wanted my title to be that make your own magic. But it wasn't fitting in. It wasn't fitting on the card with it in the pocket. So I end up attaching it to the outside of the pocket. That way I don't have to trim it down at all. Um, and I like the way that that looks. So then I was looking at the sketch and they have kind of that circly with flags up at the top. So I decided to pull in this wild heart um, kind of, it's not a banner. I don't know what it's called, but with the rosette. Um, and I really like that. And then um, I like this one that says the good stuff. So that is his initial jump. Um, so I'm going to add that and just trim off the other side of the banner. And then also from the puffy stickers, I am going to add just um, a couple of that bottom piece is going to get I don't know why I'm off screen. I'm so sorry. Um, a bird and um, what else makes it on there? Just a couple of dots. So not a ton of embellishing. Um, and then I will write my journaling with a, a Uniball uh, white pen. And that's pretty much going to do it. So tell me what your thoughts are on pocket pages. Do you struggle with them? Are they easier for you? Because I struggle with them. I do like how it turned out, though. Um, so, and I definitely got a lot of photos on this page. So we will see you next Sunday for another sketch. Remember to check out Moira. Her link will be down below. And also remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time. Bye.